So before I share with you how to create a tree using a document such as this, I want to tell you the backstory. So my girlfriend messaged me a couple nights ago and said, can you draw out a tree for me? Hannah Prince is a relative of mine and I'm trying to figure out her branch. And I had just sat down and I thought, I don't want to get up and, and make a tree. I said, can I do it tomorrow? And she said, yes. And so the next day I created, I went to create it and I realized, oh, I could use ChatGPT for this and let's see what it'll do. And I was absolutely amazed. It made me realize that I should have got off my chair and made this for her right away. So have a look at how it worked. So here we are at ChatGPT 4.0. I have the paid version of chat and that gives you the ability to explore other GPTs and you can store them. And so I actually follow a gentleman named Stephen Little and he has quite a few different chats that he's created and, and other people can use. So the one I'm going to use is Steve's Fact Extractor. So we're going to click that and you'll see that it says upload a document, for example, a wedding announcement, or obituary, etc., and extract facts in the form label value also works well with Steve's fact narrator. And so then we're just going to go down and attach the file. So when I was showing you the file earlier, if you paused it then and had a little look, you'll see that she, my friend had all sent a clipping that included the Mayo family, but also uh, two people that were with a surname Sparrow. So I have attached this and we're going to just add a message. Uh, do not include any of the Sparrow family. And we'll see what happens. So we'll start it up. And now it should start. Here we go. And it gives uh, Thomas Mayo's date of birth, death. Uh, goes pretty quick. Uh, his father, who his father was, who his mother was, grandfather, wife, etc. And it gives all the dates. And if you read the document, you realize that it sometimes it might not have been completely clear as to who had a print prince was and who she was married to but it got it right because you had to really look at it but it got it right pretty quick so now i'm going to ask it taking this information can you make a tree well, a family tree and include all vital statistics as well. And we'll start that up and see what it does. See what kind of a tree it makes us. And I was really actually quite impressed when I did this for my friend because uh, initially when she had asked me to look at this, I had told her, oh, I'm tired, I don't want to do this, because I was thinking I'm going to do it on my own. And then I realized I don't really have to, I can let ChatGPT do it for him, I see. And so honestly, I should have just got up and off my chair and had a look. But anyways, now we have a, a downloadable Mayo family tree. So let's have a look. And now we can see the tree that it created uh, includes all uh, uh, Nathaniel's father, Reverend John Mayo, and then his son, who was married to Barbara Knowles, and it also identifies Thomas's mother as Hannah Prince. Uh, so it's pretty neat. It did a pretty good job, I thought. What kind of things do you think that you could use ChatGPT to help your family history? I'd love to hear about it. 
So this is the original extraction that I got. I thought I'd share that with you. I really thought this was a fabulous tool that uh, Steve has created. It gave so much information and then by just adding the question can't, or the prompt to create a family tree, uh, that worked out really well as well. And you know, the, sometimes it takes a little bit of tweaking your prompts and you might not get it right the first time and that's okay. I mean, you, if you don't try, you'll never know. So uh, I want to share with you the tree now. So I wanted to tell you that uh, Steve Little has a website called AIGenealogyInsights.com and he also is on a podcast with his co-host Mark Thompson and that podcast is called The Family History AI Show and so I would suggest you uh, have a listen to it. I will put the links to Steve's website as well as the podcast in the notes below so that you can check it out. So I'm Ellen Thompson Jennings, the Family History Hound, and I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thanks, have a great day. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and ring that bell so that you know about future videos.